Hey folks, this Monday, coming to youtube.com slash Steven Crowder, as always in partnership with National Center, we are going to bring to you the story of the sport of mixed martial arts, more important, its legislation in New York, and why that matters to you and your personal freedom, liberties, especially if you care about the freedom to pursue happiness in this country. Hint, the ugly unions rear their head again, so you do not want to miss it. We have some of the biggest names in professional fighting, analysts, fighters, journalists. You do not want to miss it Monday at youtube.com slash Steven Crowder. The bigger thing at play is the politicians that are keeping it out are being dishonest with their people. The Fertitta brothers, who own a majority of the UFC, they also run the station casinos over in, uh, in Nevada. And they have been battling with the culinary union over in Nevada for a very long time because the culinary union wants their uh, hotels to be and, and casinos to be uh, unionized. This is uh, revenue to be generated to the state of New York. You know, it should be generated for the state here and it's not being because stupid politicians are holding back. Well, I would say it certainly hurts the people who own businesses in New York because there's going to be a, an influx, a massive amount of fans are going to be at the show hotels, food servers, you know, everybody. And New York being a, a very strong union state, uh, they have influence here. Their parent company is this group Unite Here, which uh, are the ones who are lobbying against MMA. I would say that the only people that are going to benefit from it are the people that are trying to stop it for a certain particular reason, certain organized labor folks, you know, who have, who have basically openly said that they're, they're trying to stop it. The problem is when a politician comes out and he lies, if a guy is willing to lie about a sport that doesn't matter, what's he willing to do on state health care? What's he willing to do on state welfare? What's he willing to do on state education of the kids? If he's willing to lie to keep a sport out, who else can buy it?